Today on Common Man Cocktails, we're drinking tequila and cassis. Oh, almost dropped it. We almost weren't drinking tequila. This episode is sponsored by Stefan, Joseph, Linda, Ray, and Amy, and many others. Thanks for supporting the show. You can show your support by donating at everydaydrinkers.com slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today we're going to create the El Diablo Cocktail. This recipe was submitted by Word Whiz, Word Whiz, yeah, Word Whiz 666. His, El Diablo. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he likes the devil. He was, he's all like, I was the first one to comment on today's video, which was like. But he's really good at words. Word Whiz, yeah. What video did we put out today? Whatever. Or he pees him out one or the other. <laughs> Wow. And uh, he said, you need to do this. And since it was the first thing in my inbox, I was like, first thing that came to mind, I had tequila, it had cassis. I have both the ingredients. Let's do it. Got some uh, ginger ale here. We're gonna put it in a Collins glass. This is, uh, I guess, sort of a classic. So I figured, we gotta do another classic. We did like classics the other day. Oh yeah, and you get your- uh... Or week. Hmm? Did you get yelled at? For what? Oh no, nobody yelled at me for my Sazerac. Everybody was like, hey, pretty good job. I was expecting. It'll be a couple months when someone yeah, else finds yeah. it. It takes a while for somebody to be complete douche. So it'll happen eventually. Um, I mean, I get them, just haven't been. I, I did re-get the what type of bartender sits down when they make cocktails. And I said, I don't know, I don't know that type of bartender. <laughs> oh, but I don't I'm see a, a bar bartender. to you. Yeah, there's no bar here. I see a table. Boom. So we're going to do one. <laughs> one that's tired. <laughs> yeah. Or one to the legs. I don't know. <laughs> lots, of, lots of reasons why. Um, one that's filming in an attic, so. And when they stand up, they hit their head, even though they're short. You don't hit your head. I could. I get crazy. I'll be banging things. Yeah. Nice try. So, one and a half ounces of tequila, Blanco. We're using El Cielo, El Diamante de Cielo, Del, Del Cielo? Spanish, man. Yeah, Del Cielo. Uh, this is a kind of a high-end brand, I believe. And three quarters of an ounce of creme de cassis, which is like a, a black currant. And a half ounce of lime juice. I went to a bar yesterday. They Thanks. Had, they had this, the Salerno. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. You have to do more with that. I know. I just have to come up here more when I come up with a recipe so I can look around and see what's there. and then Because I only saw it because it was right there. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. You have too much alcohol. No. Boom. Oh! Okay. I really got to find my shaker. Where this stuff goes. Boom. Oh. Oh, you need way too much ice. No way. Oh, Still you have to top, top it. it. Chill. Chilling. Whoosh. And, whoa. Now, if you're not common man, you can get yourself a straw. Hold on. I have all kinds of weird things at my disposal. One's a glow. Done. Classic style. Looks like an iced tea. Long Island iced tea style, right? Yeah, no, it's, it's too more, red. It's got yeah. a little ruby red iced tea going on. A little more pinkish. Black current all over up in the the nose piece. Got some nice tequila. It's almost like a flavorful. Well, not that we drink bland, but uh, a different twist on a margarita. And it's got like some of that margarita lime and tequila, and you're like woo, and this gets some black current, but then it's got a little zing of the of the uh, the ginger ale and a little of that pop from the from the uh, carbonation. 
this is more chill. This is like a, a drink that you could just sit out on the porch with, I think, where I guess you could do any of that with the margarita too, but I, I don't know, margaritas to me, the sourness is, it's a completely different experience than going with a mildly black currant sour thing going on. Uh, just light sour, nothing totally crazy. Very subtle, probably because the ginger ale, and it, there's some sweetness in there, so it's a, it's a good balance. Uh, plus you get a, a, a lime wheel, and that is always cool. Uh, so that's the El Diablo cocktail. It's pretty classy, nice color. I like it. Question of the day. Hmm. It should really be tequila centric. So, okay. How many people have visited Mexico and, and had real life in the flesh tequila that you can't even get in the United States or Canada or Monte Cristo or Germany or. How about besides Mexico? or Indonesia, uh, Beirut, uh, yeah. Something real classic, have you been there? Have you been able to experience it? I've been to Mexico, but I was not of age or close, so that wasn't really something I got to experience. So I have to live vicariously through you until until such a date where that changes. So who's been there? And uh, you know what, and if you haven't been there, do you guys even have tequila in your area? Because I know it's super hard to find in some other places outside of the United States. That's your question So is day. everything, apparently. I know, everybody's like, what? Where do you get cake vodka? Well, that's probably true, but uh, I don't know. There's gotta be something. Captain Morgan, no, that's pretty easy to get to, huh? Anyway, you can wrap it up. We're wrapping, we're wrapping it up. Uh, that's it, we're teaching you how to drink.